morning youtube rumble nah i'm lying it's afternoon yeah it's a, a 115 in the p of m oh grab your cup of joe i know it's afternoon but hey live on the edge Oh, that's uh, Jabba Jake's Roastery. It's, it's a different blend that he sent me this time. He sent me Peru Dark Roast. So far, thumbs up, Jake. Very good. I like it. Now, why am I so late? Because I finally, finally realized what has been going on for the last five years you know life was going real good then about five years ago it kind of oh oh went left the center had a stroke yeah uh-huh then the thing came along <laughs> made me retire because they killed business. So we're left to center again. <sighs> then, well, Cindy got sick, and you know how that turned out. Left to center again. Then her piece of human waste sons entered the picture and, well, stole my house and 90% of my belongings. Left the center again. I finally got it all figured out. I am living in the twilight zone. You young people, look it up. You know, people, I, I run into people and they're like, hey, how you doing? I tell them, I say, I'm living a dream. It's a nightmare, but it's still a dream. Yeah. Now you just sit here and you think and you think and you, you're like, maybe today's the day my time card gets punched and I can check out. It can't be much worse than what you're going through now. I don't know, you know? All right. I replied to Mudge's video yesterday. I said, it's kind of ironic that we end up being the healthy ones in the relationships. You know, I met Cindy, she was a health nut. She wouldn't eat red meat. She ate chicken and vegetables, grains, you know. I ate whatever was put in front of me. I mean, I've had a, in my 64, almost 65 years of living the dream, I've had a heart attack. Back in 94. I had an emergency appendectomy in 97. Had a stroke. Had cancer, beat it. Well, still beat him. It's only been a little, almost two years. Yeah, a lot of y'all didn't know about that, but yeah. Went blind in my right eye. I'm hard of hearing. 
I'm 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 eighty percent deaf. So please, <laughs> if I don't hear you, speak up. But now, you know, uh, I became a diabetic too. Uh, that was like 15 years ago. But I'm now to the point now where all I'm taking is one little pill a day for that. And I'm off blood pressure medicine now. Oh, and I broke my hip. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> How could I forget that? It reminds me every day that, hey, you broke me, you dummy. Yeah. I've learned, don't, don't start making plans for the future because when that day comes, doo -doo 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 -doo, Twilight Zone shows up. So, there's a good chance my trip that I was going to take tomorrow ain't going to happen. So, yeah. So if you want to know how my day's gone, the dumpster is on fire and there ain't no fire extinguisher or fire truck on its way. Let it burn. At least I had my breakfast this morning. Yeah. I posted on Bookface that I was having breakfast with my sidekick. Yeah, her name is Biscuits and Gravy. It's my Tuesday thing. And then when I get done here, then I got to answer an email. Ah, oh, this is a good one. You know, I got the Heritage 22 barkeep that don't work. Six months old. So, contact Heritage. Takes a week for them to answer. I get Amber. Amber works for Taurus, which owns Heritage. She wants the serial number. No problem. She wants proof of purchase. I go, I've had it for six months. Who keeps receipts? So then the email today was, check with the, the dealer you bought it from. They should be able to help you. They're out of business. Matter of fact, I think that was the last gun they sold before they shut their doors. Thank you, Joe Biden. Sorry. So now I'm thinking about going over there and doing a video on such lousy customer service. One, why do you need proof of purchase? She says, we need to know you own the gun. I got the gun, how else would I have it? You think I'm gonna steal a gun and then send it in for service? So I'm thinking about, I'm going to go over there and do a video based on that and attach it and send the link to their Facebook page so whoever's in charge of their social media will say, ooh, I think he's pissed off. Let's think, I'm going to tell you right now. 
I will never own another heritage. And now, since they are owned by Taurus, the Taurus that I have in layaway, I'm going to go tomorrow and get my money back, and I'm going to put a Smith & Wesson in layaway. There will never be a Taurus in my collection. You know, high points. Everybody slams high points because of their low cost. They're heavy. Yeah. They're reliable. One, they're made in America. Two, they're employee owned. Three, they're made in Ohio. Four, unconditional keyword. Lifetime, another keyword, warranty. You get one, you buy it used. Say you pick it up at the pawn shop. I've done two that way. Anyway, you pick it up, you come home, you get on the website, you dippy 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 the number into the register. Boom, you're now the registered owner of that serial number. It is now covered by a lifetime unconditional warranty. No questions asked. If it messes up, it breaks, it does whatever, malfunctions, whatever. You contact them, you send it back, they fix it. Or, I like this, replace it. Ain't no wonder they've been in business for 70 years making affordable, low-cost weapons. I didn't mean for this to become a gun channel, but. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm expecting a phone call from my significant other when she's done on whatever call she was on. And find out what kind of Twilight Zone news she ended up with today. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Every day's a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. Go be kind. That's all we got left. And it's free. I'll see y'all soon. Or later. Yeah. Peace.